And this is kind of a little bit of an X-Men villain display. Next to it is one I have reviewed, the custom 1 4th scale Apocalypse on Throne. And if you recall in a recent video, he's probably one of my top 10 pieces. Behind him is a door to some other rooms that are not finished yet. But directly below, we have a custom 1 4th scale Deadpool Kills World. See, I added the Sideshow Thanos uh, head on there. And he has a custom, for the custom, Infinity Gauntlet, which was actually a prop. I stole that idea off somebody else online. And then we have custom 1 4th scale Doctor Doom statue. These are Maji cases, DF120. And then let's move over here. We have a DF130. And sitting on top of it is one of my top 10 favorite custom pieces. This custom Loki on throne. And I actually have an extremble of comparison video between that and another Loki you're gonna see in a second. I don't know if it's launched yet or not, but this was the first review I ever did on YouTube. And it's kind of embarrassing watching it which actually gave me a good idea uh, for uh, YouTube stuff. Right below him is the custom Hulk on throne, King Hulk on throne. I have XM Studios Hulkbuster at his feet. There's some more vanquished victims, the damaged version of it. I ha have done a review on this, love that piece. And the thing I, I love about Maji Case is they just make the collection look sharp. Next is the custom contingency plan Batman. So this is, he's defeated the Justice League, and I have reviewed him as well. And let's stay at the bottom here. So some in the back, I apologize, there's uh, some dust on the uh, uh, panels, the acrylic panels, and some reflection here. But you have Blitzway, Sharon Stone. Kind of a throne piece, movie throne piece. And the Sideshow Emperor Premium Format throne piece. And Lady Maria from Bloodborne Throne, which I have done a review on. Ultron, one-fifth scale, comma cat by Sideshow. Those are kind of my miscellaneous thrones where if we move up, it's more Avengers type style stuff. This is a recent acquisition, a custom one-fourth scale Unworthy Thor on Throne. And there is the other Loki I was referring to. I think they look very cool. And at the top we have a Galactus on Throne, who ironically is made by the same people of the Loki we looked at. Not the one it's next to, but the one below it. Custom. Obviously not 1 4th scale, probably 1 40th scale. And then we have Thanos on Throne by Sideshow with a ton of custom additions and switch outs. So here's a once over of the thrones once again. which is going to bring us after this. Whoa, sorry guys. Again, gimbal issues. To our cosmic slash Avengers line, starting with my favorite statue. This is a custom 1 4th scale Silver Surfer on hole. See the holes in the wall behind there? That's the crap that bothers me why I didn't want to do a room tour. Stuff like that I still need to fix, but this is an amazing piece, one-fourth scale. I think this is the second review I ever did, so my review sucks because I sucked back then more than I do now. Along with Hot Toys, one-fourth scale Infinity Gauntlet from Sideshow. I got that for free. It sucks. Sideshow's old school Galactus Maquette. Really dig how he looks with Surfer. 
kind of the first thing you see as you come down. And below, we got some Guardians of the Galaxy action going on with XM Studios Star-Lord at the front. And a lot of these are in temporary places. I will be moving them. I move stuff a lot as I get it in because space is always difficult to figure out. And we have a custom one fourth scale comic accurate Drax behind him. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're, you're checking this stuff out, what are all these custom statues? Where do I get them? I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I'm, I am an ass, but that's not why I'm saying that. Then moving over, we have our Avengers collection, which is gonna be temporary. Uh, so I have some risers that are being built for actually something else is gonna go here. But they're on a tiny little one inch riser, but it's gonna be much bigger than that. And I wanna start at the top here. We actually have a, well, we have Hot Toys Baby Groot hanging out at the top. So I did Elf on the Shelf type with, thing with him when I first got him years ago hit in different places throughout the house, kids loved it. But kind of hard to tell in the lighting right here. We have Hawkeye's Quiver, we have my custom Infinity Gauntlet that I have reviewed, Thor Hammer, Captain America Shield, Black Widow Guns, Iron Man Helmet, and Hulk Fist. The Hulk Fist on the under underside is actually uh, signed and authenticated by uh, Stan Lee. Obviously Stan Lee didn't authenticate it. There I am, no pants by the way. But back there, kind of hard to tell with this horrible reflection, is an autographed picture. Very, very hard to get, especially like Scarlett Johansson does not sign this stuff. But we got Scarlett Johansson, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., Jeremy Renner, Mark Ruffalo, Paul Bettany, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Elizabeth Olsen, all the uh, Ultron staff. And that is JSA authenticated. Now let's go to the Avenger statues below. First, a custom one fourth scale comic accurate Thor that has tons of switch outs. I haven't reviewed this one yet. I really need to. I've had it for probably two years. It's amazing other than the fact the base takes up so much room. And right behind him, we have Sideshow's War Machine. I really like this piece, especially for the pricing that it goes for. I'm sorry guys, I can't get a good picture. And for anyone not liking the collection because it's uh, uh, too much, uh, often when I show pictures I get comments that it's stupid because it's too cluttered. Uh, that I like it, which is all that matters. And behind him we have the movie Destroyer from the original Thor movie. Followed by Sideshow's Black Widow with the Ultron base. And half of a diorama, this is the uh, ARP Clash of Powers diorama, which I have reviewed. I think of the, all those pieces, this is the only one I've reviewed. And I, I again have more Hulkbuster fallen parts at the bottom. And I have a Captain America shield, because uh, I don't have a Captain America anymore, because I gave him away in the 2000 sub giveaway. Here is a Doctor Strange. So it'll be interesting to see if Sideshow can beat this with their new piece they just announced. I love X this is by XM Studios, I love it. Got a magic spell book. Some of the other ones you can't see down here. I have 110 scale Iron Studios Wasp and Ant-Man back there. And it looks really cool because obviously they are polymorphic in when they change. Iron Studios, Infinity War, Thanos. This piece, Look at the presence of it. Look how big it is. You can see it next to Hulkbuster. It is a really, really impressive piece. <laughs> Speaking of uh, impressive piece and Hulkbuster, look at this. I haven't moved this guy since day one. He is so massive, so big, so commanding. The Iron Man itself is an amazing, amazing Iron Man. I haven't reviewed this. There's plenty of other good reviews, but mo mostly, like I said, I wouldn't want to move it. And we have Iron Studios, Iron Spidey. This one doesn't have the wow factor that Thanos does, but it is still a nice piece. Obviously goes along with the Avenger collection, or I could put him with Spidey. Now, XM Studios, this is by Daniel Bell, Black Panther. I have a custom one coming very soon, so we're gonna do an extrumble, and I'm guessing the other one's gonna win. One of the things I don't like about this is you have to display them up high. 
All right. Another once over of that section and then we will move on to the bar area. Sorry. Now, moving on to the bar area. Or not. Stupid gimbal. I haven't used this for a few months, so I, I used it at New York Comic No, I didn't use it at New York Comic Con. So let's start with the autograph memorabilia on the back. This is TV shows. Some of my favorite TV shows we have by Kiefer Sutherland, Jack Bauer. This is back in the days of VCRs and the shows left you hanging. So for those of you that are spoiled with Netflix, you always get to see what happens next. It wasn't like that in the day. Very cool, 24, Jack Bauer. Prison Break, a highly underrated uh, show. Highly, highly underrated. This is signed by the two main characters, Wentworth Miller, Dominic Purcell for Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Then I have an original Friends signed cast poster. As a reminder, everything I have is authenticated. Let me turn off the kitchen lights here. There we go. We'll turn them back on in a second. Kind of give you a better perspective. And right below them is my, my cartoon childhood display. Give you a once over on that. I don't know why I keep saying once over. My arm is gonna fall off by the end of this, by the way. So let's start at the bottom. We have Prime One Studios Splinter. You can get that for about $300. Then you have the 90s movie Turks. While it's from a different movie than the Splinter, I believe they still look very good together in this display and they're facing off against the new movie, Bebop Rocksteady, and then the NECA Shredder. Real American hero, G.I. Joes. We have Storm Shadow. And, and I, I believe I've reviewed all the G.I. Joes and Snake Eyes facing off. Eventually I'll have them side by side because I'm gonna put a few other Masters of the Universe and um, uh, Thundercats pieces in front of them. Here is Destro. And right in front of Destro, we have Sideshore's Skeletor. I have a custom He-Man. If you guys watch my videos, you know he's arriving soon. And Battle Cat. Then we have the Orko, because I got him for a absolute steal. And then Serpentor, right behind him. Now here we have part of the bar. Here's kind of the fruity liquors, which we all pretend we don't like, but we do. More of the hard stuff. I don't have any Fireball Barbie, but uh, this is the same stuff pretty much. And then we have a TV above it. And a fridge with plenty of White Claw in it. And then we have a temporary display for Prime One Transformers. These are new acquisitions, kind of. But before we get to them, check out some more of my other, my absolute favorite shows and Practical Jokers. I've seen these guys live four or five times. I watch their shows religiously over and over. This is signed by the entire cast. Murr, Sal, Joe, Brian, I love what they do. But my favorite comedian is Anthony Jeselnik. I see him, I've probably seen him about half a dozen times. He is the funniest. He, if there's a line, he goes over it every single time, and I, th I, I think he's not afraid to, uh, yeah, it's just, he's awesome, if you don't get offended. So this is Prime One Studios Lockdown Transformer. I've had him for a long time, Ooh, stupid gimbal, but he actually broke and shattered. So, I don't know if you can see, any, yeah, right there's a piece. So I'm busy trying to repair him, even though I don't know how to repair statues. Called glue. But Barricade is a new uh, acquisition. I believe I recently uh, launched the review on him. 
amazing, amazing piece as well as Bumblebee from the Last Night movie. And then we have the rest of the bar and a three tap keg. Fat Tire, uh, Angry Orchard, and uh, Miscellaneous, it changes. So here you're getting a look out so this is a temporary spot. Eventually this, this is gonna be an entire Fantastic Four collection. Uh, actually a piece that is probably already up here that has launched the review is the Franco Museum Surfer. It's probably gonna sit right next to him, but I'm filming this a little bit early. But you have Sideshow's Legendary Scale Galactus Bus. I probably will sell this. I thought it would scale well. Um, I don't think it does. Yeah, it's non-scale. I thought it would scale well with quarter scale pieces. By the way, I'm gonna say that I'm, film, I'm selling a few things. Do not message me, I, 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 I'm not ready to sell them. Here is a custom 1 4th scale thing. This is a grail. This is one of my grails. Finally got him. I actually have another custom thing that might beat this, but that just means it's strumble. And I'm waiting on some other Fantastic Four pieces. You guys have probably seen the review on my custom 1 4th scale Silver Surfer. Again, my favorite character. Coming out of a portal on Galactus's hand with an Infinity Gauntlet, which there is comic reference for that. Love it. And these temporary shells like this, I don't have um, lighting on them. I used to, but it was shitty lighting and it, it didn't last that long. Here is, this really isn't Re Revenge of Doe, it's a MAME arcade game, so there's 5,000 games loaded on here, everything from Mortal Kombat 1 to uh, Dig Dug, 1942, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So before we get into the theater room, we're gonna go into the poker room. Now, I have done a room tour on this, but most of it has actually changed, so we're gonna go through it. And typically, the camera and the lighting is sitting right there. Let's start with the Alien Predator pieces. We have Hollywood Collectible Group, HCG. Power Loader. This piece I got for uh, a screaming deal. They did a Christmas special years ago where it's normally 1,200. I got it for 800 shipped. Next piece, Prime One Alien Scorpion 1 4th scale. This piece is phenomenal. Prime One is just killing, killing on their Alien pieces. Right below it, you see the Prime One Alien Dog uh, maquette head, the additional head to switch out. Dutch premium format. And remember in the review, if you watch that, I said the biggest downfall of him is he's always looking a weird way because of where his gun is. Well, he's not even looking at the Sideshow Jungle Predator maquette that's right next to him. Eventually, this entire display will be just be Predators and Predator related stuff. And right behind him, you have the City Maquette. Now I have both the Prime One City and Jungle uh, Predators on order. I always like to display the Predators with their unmasked head, and then I put their masked versions below on the pedestals. Kind of like they've taken their mask off, even though they do have obvious dreadlocks on the masks. Next to him, we have the Legendary Scale Wolf Predator. Most people say this is a grail piece. It is, um, I've seen some that were repainted. I think that would make it a true, true grail piece, probably in my top three. Now right below, I have kind of a mix of my movie pieces. This is just temporary horror movie pieces. In the back, we have HCG Silk, because I got it for $150. It's okay, I have done a review on that. Weta Gollum, I don't know if this review is launched yet. I have filmed it. Crazy detail on that piece. This one has been reviewed is the custom 1 4th scale werewolf, not from a movie, but kind of a horror piece. And right next to it in a temporary spot is the Prime One Studios Alien Dog Maquette, one of my favorite pieces. One of the things you guys are going to notice is the tail is actually, I didn't know the tail could work that way. That's because I'm fucking good. So instead of it over its head, because it wouldn't fit in this display, its future display it will fit in. It actually is coming through the side. And right next to it, you see Dream Figures Alien, or not Alien, 
mummy. And you're probably confused, how'd you get two mummies? Well, if you watch my review, my original one, which is the one on the ground, uh, the arm is broken off. So the arm is actually semi-repaired, but not the best in there. And then I had to do some modifications to the feet, but them coming out together, even though it's the same pose, is still kind of neat. And this piece is amazing. Go check out that review. It's definitely worth watching. Then let's move down. Again, kind of movie heroes down here. First, we have Sideshow's Rocketeer. Such a cool movie, classic movie from growing up in that time period. And behind him, let me get a good view here. We have a custom crow. and Blitzway's Rocky II statue. All these I need to review. Sideshow's Conan. Really dig this piece. It's funny, I actually have three Arnold Schwarzenegger pieces. And there's another one, Terminator 2. This is such an underrated piece and you can get it for so cheap. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Next room tour, I'm gonna remove the panels for you guys. but. This one, I'm just rushed on time. This is my custom one fourth scale blade statue. This one, no, I won't sell it to you. I get asked that every time someone sees it. Not gonna sell it to you. It's amazing. The likeness is spot on. I haven't reviewed it. I don't know why, but I definitely need to review it. Right behind it is Hot Toys one fourth scale Vader, which I have reviewed. I really like this case. This case right here is kind of heroes, anti-heroes from the cinema and one over, we have Tim Curry, AKA the Lord of Darkness from Legend with the Howling Werewolf, my favorite werewolf movie of all time, right behind him. And Mola Ram is actually right behind them from the Temple of Doom. Two on the right are by Sideshow Collectibles, older pieces, much older pieces, and Pop Culture Shock Toys Howling on the left. So here's another once over of that. And if you guys recall, my thrones were here and then I moved it to Spider-Man pieces. And now it is kind of horror movie collections. Now, along with horror movie collections, right on the ground, I have some risers again, I'm, I'm having built. But we have, oh, why can't I think of the name of the company? Medusa by, uh, Oh man, it gets a bad rap. They have a, three different Medusas. What is the name of that company? I can't remember. It's a com I don't know why I don't know the name. And we have our Infinity Studios Great White Shark Jaws piece. This is monstrous as you can see. The name of the Medusa company is still just ticking me off. right above it on the windowsill. And if you watch my previous room tour, I have uh, coverings on the window. That's why it's so dark. So sunlight does not get through, but I have the sideshow, Jason and Freddie. These are, in my opinion, the best Freddie and Jason out there, especially for the price. I love these and they pair so well together. Then I have a custom Michael Myers. One fourth scale, which I've recent I reviewed a few months ago, I think. Of course, I don't know when you're watching this. And we have Leatherface, surrounded by some graboids, which we're going to talk about in a second. Leatherface is by Sideshow Collectibles. My microphone cord just fell down. There's kind of a view of that. And the shark and Medusa piece of below. So let's give you uh, once over of that really quick at the top here. This is my uh, movie uh, music autograph memorabilia. This is Five Finger Death Punch, one of my favorite bands. Uh, I saw them live at Red Rocks recently. It was one of the most amazing shows I've ever been to. Love their music. We have an Amy Lee album or an Evanescence album signed by Amy Lee. Again, everything is authenticated. Ed Sheeran, I think Ed Sheeran is amazing. 
never seen him live, but. Another one of my favorite artists is Eminem. Album signed by him. And then we have a collage with a tribute to John Williams where he signed the guitar pick. You have, you know, John Williams, the music he does. I mean, it's Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, E.T., Star Wars, Superman, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Olympic Fanfare. So many different ones. Back behind here, Gimbal's giving me issues, guys, sorry. We have uh, a DVD case of Grease signed by Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. And we have Imagine Dragons signed CD case. Back up and give you a once over of this section. Ugh, Gimbal, you're killing me. My arm's already tired, we're 35 minutes in. I think we're about halfway done. So we have Spider Man in this section right here. So let's take a, a closer look at that. First, we have uh, XM Studios Sandman. This is an amazing piece, it's really underrated, probably because it takes up so much room. I have a custom switch out head on him where it's kind of half sand, half man. And we have XM Studios Mysterio, probably one of the most underrated pieces out there. And pictures and video don't do it good, but in person, it's just breathtaking. And it's heavy as hell. Behind him, we have XM Studios Venom. I have a huge Venom display at my office, about 14 Venoms and more coming. He is the only one I have here at my house besides a bus we're gonna see. XM Studios Lizard, also like Sandman, very underrated. You can get them for a decent price nowadays. We have my custom 1 4th scale doppelganger. Very, very cool piece. And they are all fighting the Spider-Man comic cat by Sideshow Collectibles. This one as well, I, don't, I bought this because of the hype. I bought it aftermarket. I got a good deal for like a thousand bucks. It's... It's hard to describe how much cooler it is in person. And by the way, guys, you might see some scratches and stuff on the front acrylic panels. I have more on order. Or I have more in the garage, actually. I just need to switch them out. So here's a custom Graboid from the movie Tremors that is wall-mounted. This is awesome. I got this on eBay for a couple hundred bucks. It is a very, very impressive piece. I don't know if it has a defined scale at all, but... Right below is my custom 1 4 scale Morbius, one of my favorite pieces. I love vampire type stuff like this. And you can check out the review on him. Then here's when I started doing impressions. I reviewed this guy, XM Studios Electro. Some of you will get that dry joke. Seems like I've reviewed a lot of these pieces. XM Studios Spider Gwen. This is a custom 1 4th scale uh, Spider-Man. It's by the same group that did the Loki on Throne I recently re reviewed. I love it. I think it's a fantastic piece. I should review it sometime. It's really well done. We have the exclusive Miles Morales from Sideshow Collectibles. and a custom Hobgoblin. This is done by the same group that did the Doppelganger below. I really like this piece. Some really cool switch out options. Someone's at my front door. At like early in the morning. Uh, XM Studios Carnage, another underrated XM Studios spider villain. This is a fantastic piece, tons of switch outs. I love kind of the grease effect that's all over him. And below, back we have Sideshow Collectibles uh, Green Goblin. Now this piece I will be selling, most likely, because I'm getting a custom Green Goblin in that we're gonna do an Extrumble, but I have a feeling that it will definitely lose. But it is a pretty badass piece. So, one of the things you may have noticed is some poker stuff in here. Prior to collecting, poker was my big thing. And believe it or not, 
if you look at some of my first reviews it's done on a poker table it's this table right here on the other flip side of it is a professional felt line poker table but let's get back to the next section here we have uh, weird shit and healing people i mean healing i mean wolverine and deadpool so first on the windowsill this is kind of my funny silly characters we have bat duck and I have a Dr. Doom that's uh, shipping very soon that will join him. All of these fatties have been reviewed. This is the fat Batman, bad man. And I have the Aquaman coming in March, maybe? We have fat soups. And again, the window behind it, I have coverings behind this. I'm gonna give you a little, see that? Their window well since this is a basement anyway. And then we have Fat Deadpool. Now we're moving on to my Wolverine section. Uh, before we do that, let's look at the stuff behind the Wolverines. So we got some more autograph memorabilia. We got guitars. First one, let me try and get the gimbal going here, is Luke Bryan. I'm a Luke Bryan fan, I am. I dig his music, I dig his messages. He's a funny guy. This one, I actually had the opportunity to uh, get printed on there who signed it, but I didn't. If you can't figure out who signed this pink guitar, God help you. Probably my favorite autographed music memorabilia is signed by the King of Pop. Michael Jackson, may he rest in peace, one of the greatest artists of our generation, signed that badass piece. So here's a once over of what we're about to review. Wolverine pieces, and then some Deadpools. So let's start, we have Fat Wolverine. Right next to the Fat Deadpool. I like how that mixes in close together. And right here you see another Wolverine actually on the ground. This is the Fastball Special. I've done a couple videos on him. And see this big empty spot? That is going for that giant Wolverine vs. Ninja diorama some of you have seen. And right here is a Stan Lee autographed Wolverine claw. Obviously he did not autograph the claw, but he autographed the base. Here's the other part of the Clash of Powers diorama uh, that goes with the Hulk. I have, cut, I have quite a few videos referring to this piece. And my recently acquired Eric Sosa, Wolf Killer. Custom one fourth scale piece. Technically all four, five, six, eight, last eight pieces we went over are technically custom. Right below we have another custom, which all these Wolverine pieces I actually have reviewed because they're part of a Wolverine series. This is a one fourth scale X23 Wolverine diorama. Tons of switch outs. And another X23 Logan piece is on the bike. Kind of a uh, semi-adaptation from the movie. And in the corner here, you see the Old Man Logan vs. Hulk. And I have a few videos on him, both an extremes and then an actual review on the piece. Wrong way. And then an additional bust. We have my Sideshow Hulk vs. Wolverine. This has been custom painted. Usually comes as green, he's gray. And my Iron Studios Juggernaut vs. Wolverine piece. Now moving up, we have Wolverine Custom The End statue. So this is uh, an, an interpretation from a different comic. Tons of switch out, cool switch out heads. I don't like to do switch outs too often, but uh, I actually probably should switch them out after this video. We have probably my most coveted piece, Wolverine Phase 2, Wolverine vs. Wendigo. This is a custom piece. I actually recently just turned down $4,200 for him, because I'm stupid. And we have XM Studios Weapon X with the screens removed. Another very underrated piece sculpted by the amazing Daniel Bell. 
one fourth scale. We have kind of a funny, I have done a review on this Wolverine. Got them off eBay for a couple hundred bucks. I like it, I can't remember the brand. I believe it's custom. Then we have our Deadpool set up. We have the two sideshows, uh, premium formats on the sides with the custom diorama in the middle. So here's Lady Deadpool, exclusive. I love the portrait on this. I think they knocked it out of the park, but my gimbal doesn't want to show you the portrait. There, oh, there we go, thanks. And for time purposes, I'm not doing too much in-depth review of these pieces. You can check out my reviews and then we'll do some future uh, room tours. And here is a custom Deadpool vs. Assassins. Awesome, awesome piece. My gimbal is uh, being possessed right now, sorry guys. My gimbal is, if you don't know what a gimbal is, it's something that's holding my uh, phone. I'm recording on my phone, I don't know why. I wanted to try it. It has 4K, so. And that is the Sideshow Premium format. Deadpool, Heat Seeker. All right. So now, let's uh, adjust the gimbal and give you a look. I have a space heater down here because I live in a cold place. Cold in the winter, at least. Here we are walking into the theater room, game room, DC room. And let's start by looking over here at video game pieces right next to the main machine. So let's start at the top, actually. We have, these are all one fourth scale other than Goro, but this is Pop Culture Shock Toys and Bison. Really like this piece. It's sad Pop Culture Shock Toys has the reputation they do and their pieces he values so much, but also Vega is right next to him and Balrog. So kind of your boss is up here. And then just because he fit in the collection, I also put in, uh, I pronounce it Dalzing. But I like all of those together. And right below them are four more pieces. Three of them from Pop Culture Shock Toys. So we have the Zangief, which I have reviewed. I don't know if I've reviewed the Ken next to him or not. And then I call him Blanca, not Blanca. And then we have the Prototype Z Ryu. I do have the Prime One Studios Ryu on order to replace him. And below, we're moving to Mortal Kombat. Again, all pop culture shock toys. These three are all one fourth scale. We have Baraka from Mortal Kombat 9, I believe. Tons of arm switch outs. And behind him, I reviewed both of these is Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Now I have the light-up feature of the cabinets tied into the light-up feature of the statues. Other than Goro, the light-up feature doesn't work anymore because it's PCS quality. So here is one-third scale Goro. Now I plan to get away from the Mortal Kombat line, so I'm gonna be selling these. Do not message me or ask, but I will eventually sell them. Now let's slowly take another look at the theater room. So on one wall, we have, sorry, all the busts. And then this is traditionally my seat while watching movies. It's a, uh, I think that's an 80 inch up there. But right above it, let's check that out. Um, all the seats have light up and power features, which is nice. This is my first and probably still my favorite autographed movie memorabilia. This is from 300. It's signed by Lena Headey, Gerard Butler, and uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the guy that played Xerxes. It was Rodrigo something, but I love the sword in it. They all signed the middle portion there. Very, very cool collage. And very similar to it is this collage right here, Avatar. Obviously one of the, the grand movies of all time. And this one is signed by um, 
Sam Worthington, who was the main character, Zoe Saldana, who played uh, his uh, alien girlfriend, Sigourney Weaver, and James Cameron actually signed this too. It's my only James Cameron autograph. So we'll come back to some of the uh, uh, signed stuff next to it. But let's look at the bus on the wall. Now this is a temporary setup. I have some other things going on here. I have some uh, custom displays being built for the bottom. But first we have Cool Props Alien Warrior right here. And next to that is a Xenomorph. So this is a, I think it's uh, the NECA one in the middle and a custom cryostasis tube or whatever you want to call that on the outside. And we have the Celtic Predator mask right behind it. By Cool Props. And again, this is Sideshow and Cool Props, I think, made this Predator too. This is one of my favorite busts, to be honest with you. I think it's underrated. It is so cool. I like it more than the Predator 1 bus, even though I like the Predator 1 character better. And I have a little uh, thing. I hate uh, statues that say what they are, so that's covering it up. And along with the Alien Predator line, I have the Sideshow Pred Alien piece. This is huge. If you've ever seen a review on this, it's just crazy, crazy nuts. And right above him, we have a custom uh, creeper. This one, um, it's it's okay, it's weird. On the other side of the TV, you're gonna see a custom pumpkin head, which is 10 times better, and it's by the same person. Above him is the Weta Smog Bust. My gimbal is possessed right now, guys. I'm so sorry. Check that out. I was actually gonna put the Extreme logo on the TV, but I forgot. And then back to the bottom, we have Prime One Studios, another incredibly underrated piece from Independence Day, The Alien. It's actually on sale, uh, depending when this launches, uh, in their winter sale for an absolutely ridiculous cheap price. Followed by Elite Creature Collectible Pieces. So first we have the life-size bust Lycan from the Underworld movie. This piece goes for three plus grand, easy not more. Then we have the Reaper from Blade 2. This one goes for probably 2000 to 2600 Look at just some of the detail on this. It's sick. I've seen a repaint of this that looked amazing as well. I have a custom Pennywise bust. And actually I have a few pieces uh, of my office from the same custom company. It's a lot more affordable than some of the other ones out there, and I think the other ones out there aren't, you know, they're not one to $2,000 better. You guys have seen the review on Queen Studios, Heath Ledger, Joker Bust. If you haven't, then go check that out. But interesting fact about this, so they made this unlicensed. They were not, uh, did not have the blessing with DC uh, or Universal or whoever made that movie. So it's illegal. Uh, we have a uh, sideshow, Venom. This is actually, I have two Venom busts. The other one's at my office. The other one's at custom. But this is crazy looking. I don't like the bottom of the base. I've done a review on this, but look at inside the mouth here. Moist, moist. Right here is Elite Creature Collectibles. Mohawk Gremlin Diorama. Full size Gremlin. I've done a review on him. Very, very cool. Let's keep moving up. Here's that pumpkin head bust I was talking about. This is amazing. I've done a review on him. It was a while ago, but I love this piece. I love the character pumpkin head. One of the greatest uh, horror pieces or horror concepts out there. And it is really cool. Then we have Chronicle Collectibles, female T-Rex bust then over here we have an empty shelf with a I don't even know who makes this it's a kind of a plastic puppet but it looks okay I got this a long time ago I'm trying to figure out where he can go next to the spike gremlin 
But underneath him is the Queen Studios T800, which I have reviewed. This is amazing. It's silicone. It looks and feels like real skin. Now, right below it, I have a Jack of the Dust Melting Skull I got on sale. Uh, I have this down here to kind of signify the boneyard of Terminators, because right next to it, we have the Cool Props T-800 Endoskeleton in pieces. So this is actually a piece that was destroyed. It fell. And instead of, it's a $1,500 piece, instead of getting $500 for him so someone else could try to repair him, I also have the arm in the back, by the way, too, that fell as well. I figured, you know what, let's put it on the ground next to the Terminator pieces because right here actually is gonna be a custom T-1000 bust I have coming. All right, 55 minutes in, who's sticking with me? All right. First, we have a custom one-fourth scale Onslaught. Onslaught, if you don't know who that is, it's kind of Magneto with Professor X's, Professor X's brain inside. I actually won this, uh, pretty neat. I paid for like $50 entry and I won it. There's not a ton of detail on it, but hey, I want it, and it's a cool concept. Behind is an autograph from Terminator 1, Michael Bean and Linda Hamilton. And right above that, we have the Governor himself autographed this Terminator collage. JSA, again, everything authenticated. So let me give you a quick once over of this room. Here we have some X-Men villains. And this is eventually gonna be just Magneto. And here we have some Star Wars stuff. And then we have X-Men. First, we have a custom repainted one-fourth scale Magneto. I stole this idea from someone else. I've done a review on all three of these. Awesome, awesome piece. Here's my favorite Magneto, one of the best on the market, probably in my opinion, the best, for Sentinel Hand. This is actually the prototype, one of the two prototypes. So it's custom painted. I've done a review a long time ago when I first started doing reviews. And then we have XM Studios White Magneto, which I've never done a review on. There is a video with these statues in them. XM Studios knocked it out of the park on this, and I'm surprised that it, you can still get it for retail or under that. Let me back up here because I gotta grab the remote. I turned off the light below. The problem with having everything on the same light, if one of them fails, uh, then they're uh, off sync. So here we have a number of pieces. We have Sideshow's exclusive XM Mystique, or not XM, X-Men Mystique. I can't remember the name of the company that does these uh, funny, goofy mag uh, characters. I have a Magneto and a Venom from them. They call this Mark Nito. Behind it is a custom diorama that actually I am giving away in a giveaway. Wolverine versus Magneto. And a custom one-fourth scale juggernaut that I've removed the base so he will fit. <coughs> and there's tons of autographed memorabilia in the DC room. So let's hit that first. Just like the Avatar and the uh, 300, we have a collage for Pulp Fiction that is autographed by Harvey Keitel, Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, Tim Roth, Amanda Plummer, Quentin Tarantino, Uma Thurman, John Travolta. Such a good movie. Another amazing movie, Fight Club. So this is autographed by, of course, Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. Then we have and this DC room, just so you guys know, is really under construction. So some of the stuff is covered, it won't be in the future. Uh, Ted by Mark Wahlberg and uh, Seth MacFarlane. We have a Goonies autographed by the entire cast. This one cost me a pretty penny. 
Got the medallion right below. And two pieces you can't see. One is a Karate Kid autographed uh, memorabilia. Let's see if I can get a better picture on there. Not really. And the other is a uh, Back to the Future license plate by Christopher Lloyd and uh, Marty McFly. But moving over, we have another awesome collage. It's Lord of the Rings, signed by uh, Viggo Mortensen, Elijah Wood, Liv Tyler, Ian McKellen, Orlando Bloom, uh, uh, Andy Serkis, uh, uh, Gandalf, uh, all, all of them. Awesome, awesome. And we have Rain Man, signed by Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. Then moving on, probably one of my most proud ones. So I have of The Dark Knight, I have the whole cast. I have uh, Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Gary Oldman, Aaron Eckhart, uh, Maggie uh, Gyllenhaal, Morgan Freeman. They all signed that middle piece. And uh, Heath Ledger, he died before he signed any movie pieces. But I have a scrap piece of paper that's been authenticated with his name right there. If you ever see a uh, movie poster of The Dark Knight signed by Heath Ledger, it's a fake. Then we have The Shawshank, signed by Morgan Freeman and Tim Robbins, another greatest movie of all time. Gene Hackman, or not Gene Hackman, Gene Wilder, uh, may he rest in peace, signed as uh, Willy Wonka Bart. We have Chevy Chase's uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, the second best Christmas movie of all time, after uh, Die Hard. He has signed his jersey that he wore. And next one I'm very, very proud of. I have, may you rest in peace, Christopher Reeve. Whoa, sorry guys. Christopher Reeve signed the photo at the top. Gene Hackman signed the kryptonite necklace. And it's also very fitting that this will move down into our Superman pieces. But let's start on the edge here. Here I have my Prime One Studios one third scale Dead Man. And all of this is a work in progress, guys. Just a heads up on that, so they're not gonna be on the floor. Awesome piece, it's a beautiful work of art. Right next to him is Hush Superman, one of my favorite licensed pieces out there. Probably the favorite piece I received in 2019 that was brand new. I love this piece, I will always keep it. Some more Superman pieces though. I have a custom 1 4th scale Christopher Reeve piece. Check out the review on him. Very, very cool. Another piece I won, I enter a lot of these contests, uh, is the uh, custom 1 4th scale dark side. So this wasn't really a contest, it was a raffle. You pay to get in, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. I've probably paid enough. I, I've won three pieces total. I probably paid about $1,000. Um, I don't believe in luck, but chance does favor the prepared mind. Here is a custom Superman uh, uh, black costume, one fourth scale piece. This one gets a lot of hits on YouTube, so go check it out. Next to him is a custom one fourth scale reverse flash piece. I got this from a fellow collector for a steal. Here is Sideshow's Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn, and Joker. Margot Robbie, Jared Leto. I like these uh, a little less than the Prime One Studios one third scale, but they're a lot more affordable. They're half the price. Here are two custom Jack Nicholson and Joker pieces that I recently did a review on. You can check that out. Tons, most switch outs of any statue I've ever seen. We have some Sideshow Joker pieces. We have the Nightmare Joker on the left and the Premium Format on the right. I know I've actually reviewed both of these. I actually have the Sideshow Heath Ledger Joker in a box because I have it up for sale. I, I box stuff up when I put it up for sale so I can ship it quick. Next is the Sideshow Harley Quinn Premium Format. This piece is underrated, I think. I can't believe they released a new uh, Harley Quinn, um, the 12 Days of Sideshow recently. Not interesting to me. Next is the custom 1-4 scale Batman and Cave. As you can now really see, oh, thank God, I 
thought that was a statue. Uh, you can really see how big this piece is. Next to some others, it just takes up a ton of room. Then here we have my custom 1 4th scale Joker. Not Joker, Penguin, sorry guys. Penguin, I've reviewed this piece, best penguin out there. There's not a lot of options, but this one is unbeatable. Sideshow's Bane premium format. Anyone who owns this can tell you how badass this guy is. He is amazing. Look at the scale, I think the scale is perfect. Awesome, awesome piece. Sideshow's Poison Ivy. This one I think is uh, not really overrated, but it's okay. I'm not a huge fan. It's my best Poison Ivy for now anyway. Sideshow's Nightmare Batman. Almost like a man bat, but it's not. It's actually the Nightmare Batman. And right behind him I have from Batman Returns, Sideshow's Michelle Pfeiffer Cat One, Catwoman premium format. Then we're gonna move into the Samurai line. You guys know this is one of my favorites. We have the XM Studios Batman Samurai and Batgirl. I've reviewed the entire Samurai line and I can, I'm going all in on this. I'm getting everything. And right below her, we have the Catwoman. Another piece that, ooh, another piece that I won in a raffle. Then the two newest acquisitions are the Bane and Deathstroke. I've recently reviewed these. Awesome, awesome pieces. They continue to bring uh, just more and more to the table. Props to you, XM Studios. And kind of because he's an offshoot character, right over here we have Prime One Studios. Did I? Prime One Studios. Deadshot from the Suicide Squad movie. It's the only piece I've gotten from that line because as I said, I already have the fourth scale of the other ones. Now, let's take a gander at the one third pieces in the middle. I'm gonna do the best I can. They're kind of crowded. Like I said, this is all temporary, but these are all by Prime One Studios. And they're all DC, Justice League related, Batman villain related. First we have the Killer Croc. Huge piece as you can see, and it's badassery. I am a big, big fan. It's probably one of my top three favorite pieces right here. Also top is the uh, Dark Knight Returns Batman, Frank Miller, right next to him. This gimbal does not like me right now, guys. Let me do that, all right, there we go. Done a review on both of those, and also done a review on this Prime One Mr. Freeze, which is just massive. My only criticism of him is he's too big, he takes up too much room. And right next to him is the Batman in the XC suit, which I do not have displayed with the cape. The future plans I have for these guys are in a different room where no one will be behind each other. Two villains in the uh, front here. We got Scarecrow and Two-Face. One of the interesting things you guys should know about these is most of these, when you buy the Prime One Studios, one-third scale, they, they go for less than retail. Arkham Knight Batman. From the video game, which I have never played, but he is amazing looking. He's probably my favorite Batman of these. And then I believe this is the Arkham Origins, this one right here. I might be wrong, someone can correct me. This is the first one I ever got. I got years ago when it first came out. And I like it because it's like the basic Batman. Then I bought Batman Noel off their summer sale right here. Um, and I read the uh, Bermejo uh, book. I think I got them for like $600 shipped, usually a thousand. 
Flashpoint, this is one of their best Batman statues too, in my opinion. This is not Bruce Wayne, this is Thomas Wayne, his father in an alternate universe. And he kills people, where, as you know, Batman traditionally does not. Then we got some Justice League stuff going on. Here is the Ben Affleck Justice League piece. Followed by, and I've reviewed him, followed by the Cyborg. And they have the Prime 1 Doomsday. This is actually my most watched video. Hopefully this video actually beats that. Um, which is not directly from the movie, but fits well with the other characters. And he just takes up so much room, as you can see. And I have the Aquaman from the movie. Sorry about the uh, gimbals going nuts. Good thing we're almost done. Few open spaces there. So let's do a last once over of that room. Again, temporary room. If you don't like how crowded it is, you don't live here, so you're good. Sorry for moving stuff around. Now, let us move on. Over here. So first, I want to show you guys, let's do the autograph memorabilia. Sylvester Stallone autographed uh, glove. I love the first four Rocky movies. I like Creed 1 a lot. I didn't like uh, Creed 2 as much, but uh, awesome, awesome piece. Here's a custom Han Solo in Carbonite, life size. It's kind of worn throughout the years. We got a shuffleboard table. You can see that, that interests you. But let's jump in, and the shuffleboard table is moving. It's just heavy as hell. So here is the overview of the X-Men wall. A lot of blank spaces, because if you saw my Extreme Expos for January, we have tons of X-Men pieces coming in. I also have some non-X-Men pieces in here that will be moving to another room. So let's get started with the non-X-Men pieces. Here at the bottom, we have a custom one-fourth scale crossbones, Captain America's Secret Empire. And right behind them is the XM Studios Red Skull I recently reviewed. Those three kind of go together. So do the rest of these. We got the Iron Fist Studio, or Iron Fist from XM Studios I recently reviewed. The Daredevil and Daredevil Shadowlands in the back. Sideshow's new. Punisher premium format. Then we have XM Studios Ghost Rider and XM Studios Darkness directly behind him. Temporary spots for all these guys. Eventually these will be all X-Men. So let's move up to the X-Men, starting with the villains. Two custom one-fourth scale pieces. The rest of these pieces we look at are all one-fourth scale. Sabretooth, favorite piece I received in 2019, even though he was released earlier than that. And a custom movie juggernaut, there's only 15 of, that gets a lot of unjust hate because it's an amazing piece. We have XM Studios Mystique above. Now, I am going to be selling her, do not message me. I'm gonna keep the sideshow on. Thought about it for a while. Probably sell her sometime next month. Behind him is a custom one-fourth scale behind her, Apocalypse. Of course, we have Sideshows, Juggernaut. This is the exclusive, but Kitty Pry is somewhere else in the display, I'll show you. So there's kind of the villains. Notice I have no Magnetos, but I have four Magnetos on, on route in the next month or two, so one of them will go up there with her. And then, of course, we have XM Studios Dark Phoenix because she's kind of a villain. And the spots next to her are pieces that are coming in this month. However, right below her, we have the custom 1 4th scale Phoenix Forces pieces. I've reviewed both of these, and I'm told two more of the five are shipping in the next few weeks. So I don't have a lot of faith in that, but if that is true, they will go behind them for now. Then we have kind of a... So by the way, this is Magic and Cyclops from Phoenix Force. Go ahead and Google that if you're not. 
Then I have my miniature X4 setup. We have XM Studios cable, which I like better than Sideshows. I'm more of a realistic interpretation guy than a comic guy, so that's why I like that better. Then we have the X-Force's Deadpool from Sideshow Collectibles on the left, and my custom X-Force vs. Ninjas. Now this case looks a little dark as you can tell. Look at the contrast. I do have lighting in there, but the lighting is malfunctioning, so I have new lighting uh, in route on order. Now let's move up here. Two of the pieces that are going up here are the custom Cyclops versed hand and Sentinel hand and the custom X-Men versus Sentinel or Iceman versus Sentinel hand. That's why there's so much room up here. But first, this is Sideshow's Wolverine Premium Format exclusive. And I have some Sentinel pieces in front of him we're gonna talk about in a second. This is that base from the Juggernaut that you saw earlier that I said I removed his base. That'll probably go in the back. Here's a custom one-fourth scale beast versus sentinel. Very, very cool piece. I have a rogue versus sentinel hand from the same group that's supposed to arrive this month, so we'll find out. I know I'm kind of going in a weird order, but deal with it. First up, we have XM Studios Storm. I don't think this storm will ever be beat, just my opinion. I love it, I, I overpaid on it. I paid after the fact, I think I got it for 1500, but it's amazing. I have some uh, lightning bolt effects I added to the hand. Next, you guys have seen this, this is a custom Iceman, not the one I was just talking about, I'm getting another one, but this is one I've reviewed. I think I've reviewed most of these X-Men pieces actually. Very cool. And below, we have more room for more X-Men pieces arriving, and we have the Sideshow Rogue. Maquette, I believe she's a maquette. Exclusive. So also on the bottom, you guys have probably seen this before, we have a custom Psylocke versus Sentinel head. I did an extrumble between her and another one you're gonna see in a second. Then right here is a big ass Sentinel hand. This was that Fastball Special, the Wolverine and Colossus that you saw in the Wolverine collection. This was the original base. So I've taken pieces from this base just to display with the X-Men stuff. Here is a custom Cyclops versus Sentinel chest. And this is the same group that made the beast you just saw. And these are the people uh, sending a Rogue and a Magneto, supposedly this month. Then we have Sideshow. X-23 for Sentinel Hand exclusive. I love both heads. And I threw in a little Sentinel piece in front of her. And there's the Kitty Pride from the Juggernaut. I liked uh, her with the women. The x women. In the middle is the custom Psylocke for Sentinel Hand. This is the uh, one I was just talking about that I did a Strumble or an extreme normal comparison between her and the other Psylocke. And our last piece, thank God, because my voice and arm are going out, is the custom Jubilee or Sentinel Foot. So lots of changes. Guys, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate uh, all the support we've given so far. I'm hoping this video goes viral. Uh, if it doesn't, then I hope you enjoyed it anyway. But this is where I chill every single day. Uh, this is where I prepare stuff for you guys. This is where I decompress from a very stressful uh, life. This is my retreat. And I will see you guys tomorrow.